The vlog is dead. Not all vlogs. This is the one that we had our heart set on making for this trip. We started this trip by putting together a vlog and we were going to kind of do a series probably of vlogs throughout the trip of our experience and our renovations and all the things we were doing. And we wanted to do this not just for you all viewing it, but also for ourselves just as a documentation of what we've put time into and where are the progress we're making and the stage of life that we're at right now in this in this property. Yeah, so when we <laughs> look back at this property, this experience, you know, 5, 10, 15 properties down the road, we could reflect on what this was and we could actually remember the details <laughs> about this project. But we ran out of time and we realized that probably two days into projects you think i think we shot the vlog the day we walked in the house i think that was the last, last vlog we just got back into the house and it looks so good i can't wait to show you the whole thing but first we've got to clean i don't know why but for some reason it just didn't register to me that after we did the concrete floors that there would be dust everywhere so first step is to clean this whole place wash all the walls clean off the dust and get ready for next steps the plan is to start in this room take everything outside and honestly just take the leaf blower just blow the dust off of it it's the best solution i found i think would work really fast and then clean all the floors last so here we go There's a bit of overspray on a lot of these tiles and in, on this grate and like big drips here in the fireplace. So the tile's really easy to get the overspray off, just a little, um, what is this sponge called? The bristle, the uh, you multi purpose, know, yeah. multi purpose sponge. Um, the metal grate, not really sure about the inside of the fireplace on the there, that might be a little trickier, so we're gonna have a conversation with the painting people. They did a really great job, but there's a few things that are, ugh. For example, they got paint on the fridge door somehow. <laughs> like how? How? And then the flooring people got, ended up cracking those tiles there, which I don't know how. So we sent them photos of those tiles being cracked. And then the new flooring already has some peeling marks on the sides of it, so we'll see what they say. And then it's just things like, it's just things like they got paint on this door, they have paint all over the floor in that closet, and just, you know, lots of little things like that. The flooring people tracked all this like gunk on the nice tiles, so we'll have to talk to them about that too. So overall, like the companies did do good jobs, but um, you know, not thrilled that they weren't super careful with a really nice tile. A few things I'm just disappointed about overall. It just seems like that corner, like, pretty careless. Um, so we'll work with them, see if they could get it fixed. If not, we will be fixing it. So just add some time to our project. It is day 22 of this renovation project. We're sitting here in the primary bedroom and we're done. Yeah, we fly out it. tomorrow. Which, I'm shocked. I didn't think we'd make it at all. No. And I don't, I don't think we did either. No, yeah, it didn't seem like we were gonna make it, mo most of the time. It didn't seem like we were gonna come close. So, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of footage of the process to share with you. We definitely have footage and um, photos of the end result. But our goal now is to, take a moment to wrap up what 
we started um, and reflect on that a little bit too. Yeah, we bought this property last year and we did phase one, which I was down here for six weeks to do a bunch of renovations. Basically, uh, when we brought the property, no one was living in it. Um, it was in bad shape and it needed a lot of work. So the first six weeks last year was really just to get it functioning and living, uh, livable, fixing a lot of major issues with the property. And then um, that's all the time I had. So I came back and got a little bit of furniture in, got it livable, as I said. And, uh, and we did we did really well, we did well for our first year. Yeah. It just wasn't to the standards that we wanted it to be, which is why the second round happened. Yeah, yeah. the, the first year hit our goals with occupancy, mm -hmm. bookings, and the gross revenue. So overall it did really great, um, but we want to get it to the point where we had a vision of it be. Let's reflect in three parts. Things that didn't go according to plan, things that went better than planned, and things to note for the future. Things that didn't go according to plan. Our timeline. Our, our <laughs> whole timeline. I mean, we made it. Yeah. And I was just thinking, I don't think we had a night that was later than 11 p.m., which is pretty impressive because most of the time when we've gone down here, we pulled like 12 o'clock, one o'clock a.m. Yeah. Nights and the fact that we didn't have to do any of that says a lot. Yeah. No, that was good. But we worked really, really long days. We were doing like a 14, 15 hours. Six, six seven a.m. Anyway. a.m. Yeah. to nine, ten p.m. Mm -hmm. And that's like on our feet the entire time, yeah. physically, like exertion mentally putting it all in so they were they weren't late nights but they were exhausting days yeah of this and 22 of those consecutive it's a lot so things that didn't go to plan that's our timeline for sure yeah. we thought we had budget enough time but then with some delays in the contracted work that we had done for this house that pushed us probably really starting when we wanted to start a week later and of the three, three weeks, weeks yeah. that we gave ourselves. So really we did the whole thing in two weeks, which is crazy yeah. to think about how much we got done in the last two weeks. Yeah, in, in reality, probably need like six. Four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Four weeks to do it. With um, help. Four weeks with help to do it at a reasonable pace. pace. Yeah. Six to seven weeks if we had done all of it by ourselves. Yeah, we didn't get to the other things like that were on the list that we want to get to. There mm -hmm. was a few projects that we pushed to the next trip because they're just not, not high priority happen. and not gonna happen. We didn't really get to creating any content on experiences or developing the guidebook really. So yeah. all that got pushed. Okay, so timeline didn't go according to plan, what else did not go according to plan? The, pro the renos, the cleanup process on the flooring and paint took a week. It, it was just, all. we just didn't, factor that in at all and yeah. we shouldn't have yeah so and that's yeah. A, i'd say a little bit was on them as a as companies yeah but, but also also on us on us for just not considering that as part of yeah project cleanup the touch-ups the little things you call people back in and say hey do you notice that this part didn't get yeah. finished this part needed to have some work on yeah and the house needed a lot of cleaning um oh, even though we had like taken everything so out of the house cleaning. yeah it still there was, there was dust, dust and some paint everywhere. So everywhere. we had a lot of cleaning, um, a lot of reinstalling stuff. So like we had to reinstall blinds, all the outlets mm -hmm. took a lot longer. A lot longer. Um, switches, old so household. That's another thing yeah. that didn't go according to plans that we thought we'd be able to do more ourselves than we actually had the skill sets for. Or the time to figure out how to do it. That, okay, that's true because if you have a skill set for a lot of things, yeah. but if we had the time, if you had the time to learn how to do it and then do it, that would be different. But or yeah, we, well, we, we also assumed that, if, like for example, we we decided to replace every single outlet and every single switch and every different everything in the house because they were all the old color, like a peachy, and now yeah. we want them to be bright white, and we're just like, oh yeah, Jacob can get that all done in like three four days. Well, yeah, when it took a professional. A week, a almost. Week, probably. 
and we had a second guy helping too. So, yeah, so. in reality, even, even if I were to do it and could do it quickly, it'd still have taken me a week. Um, the internet was something that did not go according to plan. Yeah. The, something we're still, <laughs> still yeah, not missed of. Finished. I didn't know that the underground cable that runs your house internet could go bad. But it did. Yeah. It did. It's totally shot. Our internet just went out one day. And it wasn't the modem, wasn't anything normal. They have to they have a temporary cable run up to the hill, but um, which means that a lot of our photos have this temporary cable in them. Um, yeah. It's gonna be around for a few guests probably, so that yeah. did not go according to plan. But it's they're gonna have to dig up the entire yard and hillside to get it up to the street um, because we have an acre property here, so it's gonna be a huge project. So we had a few appliance issues. The mm -hmm. uh, the dryer wasn't heating up to temp, but we got that fixed. Um, put some two by fours behind it, and that seems to be working. Uh, the dishwasher had the it's brand, brand new, brand new dishwasher that was installed last year. Uh, uh, the heat pump failed heat pump, and so their solution is replace the heat pump, which we did. And then you have to run the hot water for like 15 or 30 seconds and then run the garbage yeah, disposal. Yeah. No one's gonna do that. So, um, but that's always replaced. Fridge ice maker went out. Yeah. Or no one out. Fridge ice maker, which we have replaced and still doesn't work. So we're gonna have to do that again. What else? Photography. Photography. <laughs> yeah. That's true. We had budgeted two full days for photography and then. I had some meetings on one of the days, so I couldn't use that day. So we really have one day and we are going to do uh, regular photography, detail photography, uh, 3D tour, drone, mapping, drone, social video, media, yeah, video walkthrough, a um, bunch of other like content stuff, for reels. I about half of that done. Yeah, and um, we we're going to shoot it multiple different times a day, so really we just got like photography <laughs> based on. Um, we also decided to try to shoot it first without lights on because we were worried about being a little too yellow We didn't actually like the look of that. So I just scrambled and reshoot a bunch of stuff and then also uh, Got a little bit of video done a little drone, but we did get the 3d tour done um, You know also didn't go according to plan. I got sick oh yeah, for got sick. like three days in the middle and I think it was just the stress triggered and there's three days where we really had to slow down um, and pushed us back a little bit and was stressful and not yeah. fun. So that was not according to what I thought my plan was going to be for this trip. So things that went better than expected or positives, tying it back into the internet, the fact that the internet went out while we were here, I think is a huge positive. Yeah. Because I can't even imagine if that had gone out and we had guests and um, first of all, we'd have no internet for them. Um, and then the, knowing the scope of the work that's going to have to get done because of that one out, being here in person yeah. makes a huge difference. We found an incredible handyman yeah. that saved our butts. Yeah. So that, saved our butts. That was amazing and couldn't have done it without him. He it. worked so many hours just alongside us doing our projects with us. We just needed a third set of hands and not just an extra body to do the work, but he had a lot of the skills already that we hadn't yet learned, like all the electrical wiring, which is pretty funky in this house. Um, we just, we wouldn't, no way we would be in this position we are tonight. Yeah. But Plus he had all the tools and equipment oh, here. Yes. Because this trip so we helpful. flew and didn't drive, so we left all our tools at home. Budget. Yeah, budget. Um, we stayed within the budget. Yeah, under and, budget. <laughs> yeah, and just like a slight bit under budget, which is, I don't, I honestly don't even know how that happened. Yeah. I, mean, I, I did the budget, I recorded it, I spent every single night just like going through transactions, making sure we were on track. And we did more projects than I thought we were gonna do, and yet we somehow have more money at the end than I thought we would end up yeah. with. So I think that, that was great. <laughs> that was great, I have no idea how that happened. Yeah. Another positive is that we sold 95% of the furniture mm -hmm. that we were trying to um, offload yeah. during this renovation. And honestly, I didn't think that was gonna happen. And most of it is off our hands. Yeah. So yeah, which is that great. was really positive. So we're able to recoup a little money, which is yeah. not part of the being under budget part actually. So yeah, be so able really a little helped. more. Other things Rental car. 
you know, we booked uh, a pickup truck and was given a car with a pickup bed and yeah. we were very skeptical at the beginning. But it ended it up working out. out because we were able to throw the ladder in the bed and use it to paint the garage. So <laughs> <laughs> working with Minoan. That, that was, was really helpful. That was really helpful. That worked really well. That went really positive. Yeah. Because with some returns and some things that never showed up, we were going to have to waste our time reaching out to all the different companies. We just talked to Minoan and they handled the rest. Plus we saved a bunch of money. Yeah. So That was great. The interior designer we used did an amazing job. Everything looks incredible. Um, murals. Those went well. Those went well. Yeah. We hired uh, maybe Maybe murals. that's a really good segue into what would we do differently for the future? What yeah. would the future look like? I loved the fact that we worked with a muralist who designed the murals and I got to paint them. And in the future, I would love to just hire them to paint the murals. <laughs> I was flying out. <laughs> um, I love doing the murals. It's a really creative outlet for me. It's really fun. I have an art background. It's a way for me to like do some art. And it just took so long. Yeah. Well, they're so super, long. super detailed and they're huge. Like this one behind us is... But you can't even see all the detail because yeah. the bed is covering well, half of it. But there's um, multiple of these in this house. So it's It a just lot. took a really long time. Um, and that, that's just something I want to budget in for the future is having that work done yeah. for us. I think in the future, I want to, again, establish that local relationships really early on because that helped us so much yeah. this year. And say like finding those, establishing those relationships, getting those contacts. And then giving ourselves more time. More time. Oh, we want to, one thing we weren't able to do because we were in the middle of doing a bunch of renovations was like going through all the stuff that got delivered uh, marking it off, making sure everything was there, making sure stuff was intact. I want to come with a better system for being able to track that yeah. and know what we bought and be able to match it up a little bit easier. Um, I just don't think I did enough pre-work on that piece, so I really want to tweak it. I mean, it went well, Yeah. but I want to, in the future, tweak some things yeah. on that process. It was an exhausting trip. Yeah and so fulfilling just um, being able to see the yeah. beginning to the end progress in the last few months has been yeah incredible yeah i'm and, really proud of us and a lot of fun i mean it was there was a lot of highlights it was there was a lot, it was fun and hard yeah and stressful and fun yeah um, i'm really proud of us yeah me too i think we did a really good job if you want to check out all the amazing photos we're going to be putting up, the 3D tour, anything else like that about this property, make sure you jump over to rentcasasuaro.com and everything will be up there shortly.